All right, today's video going to be replacing the wheel bearing on this 04 Tahoe two wheel drive so there's no axle nut on the front and axle. The reason why we're changing it is because of this. You shouldn't be able to hear that, especially freehand like that. And you can only imagine at vehicle speed how bad it would be. I'm going to be replacing it with AC Delco. Got it from Rock Auto. To take off the wheel, uh, the cover that comes it comes on the wheel, it's a 21 millimeter for the plastic nuts, and then for the actual lug nuts, they are 22 millimeter. Not to make it easy for everything, I'm going to turn the wheel all the way to the left so we have full access to the caliper, the bracket, caliper bracket, and the, the bolts that hold on the hook. Next we're going to take off all the holding clips that hold the ABS sensor. All right, now that you got all the connections off, all you got to do is just lift up the tab that wraps around this nub, and you pull it up and then pull it out. Next, we're going to take off the caliper. It's these T55 Torx bolts. Okay, before we take off the caliper, we're going to take off this little bracket that holds it to the top of the knuckle. It's a 10 millimeter bolt. Now we can go ahead and take off the caliper. Next is a caliper bracket. It's two 18 millimeters. And then you can go ahead and take off the rotor. And here's the second one. Okay, the last thing to do is take off the three mounting bolts that hold the hub on, which are 15 millimeter. Okay, now that the bolts are off, then you got your ABS sensor off, you can go ahead and pull it out. Just want to remember that the this is the layout of the dust shield. Yeah, uh, I'm in California, so I don't have to deal with rust like the East Coast and the North uh, of the country, but. If it is pretty hard that the, the hub doesn't come out, it's because it's um, rusted to this mating surface and also this interior. So that's what you're going to be fighting and that's what you would have to try to pry on the hub to take it off. Uh, this was a clean truck since it's California so we don't have to deal with the rust. And if you are on the east coast, I mean I don't have to technically do this, I'd do like a, just a minor one. but. You're going to want to take off the rust, so you just go to wire wheel and just go ahead and clean all the interior. Mm 
Okay, so here's the old one. Not as bad as uh, not as bad as the other one, which is this one right here. But you can still hear it. Can't do it because it's actually lubed up internally, so I can't spin it freely. But there you go. Here's a comparison of the old one and the new one. Now we're gonna hide, guide the ABS wire, and we're gonna go ahead and line up the hook. Okay, the torque that I found online was 133 foot-pounds. So what you just saw was I snapped the socket. You can see it cracked. It cracked at the, at the outer edge. But yeah. That was a sacrifice on that project, so I just ordered a new one. Okay, the torque is 129 foot-pounds for the caliper mount. Now we can go ahead and put the brake pads back on. Now we put the caliper on. Okay, the torque on the caliper uh, Mounts are 80 foot pounds. And the last thing is to put them the bolt that holds the bracket for the brake line. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and put the ABS wire and line it up in all the connections. Okay. Now you go ahead and go over everything once. Make sure all your bolts are torqued. Make sure you point them out just so you can remember that you touched everything. Just make sure there's gonna be no bindage, no tears or anything like that. And like everything is routed correctly. And yeah, just put the wheel on and we're all good to go. Now with the jack still holding the truck up, but there is some weight on the wheel, we're gonna to torque it down to 140 foot pounds. Okay, and that's how you change a front wheel hub bearing on this uh, like 99 to 07 Tahoe. Alright, hopefully this video helps y'all. Y'all have a good one.